In 3ds Max, there's a whole class of objects called patches, which are very smooth surfaces that you can deform to create organic models. We can do the same thing here in SketchUp with a plugin called Bezier Patch by Victor Liu. Once it's installed, you can create a Bezier Patch from the Draw menu. You're presented with this dialog box. The order refers to the number of control points that you have, and it's actually one more than this number. So if we set the order to be 2x2, two two, in the coordinates of the surface, which is UVW space, we'll have actually three by three control points. The steps refer to how granular the mesh is, so a higher number here makes a smoother and more deformable surface. I'm just going to go with the defaults and click OK. And then I'll click the start point, the second point, and the third point. This creates a surface. So there are 12 subdivisions in both directions, and to see the order or number of control points, you have to select the object, right click, and choose Edit Bezier Patch. If you look closely, you'll see there's some gray handles. There are three by three. I can take this handle here, hold the up arrow down to lock the blue inference, and drag it up. If you look closely, you can just see the deformed surface represented in this light gray color. As I orbit, it disappears, however. And so we just have to take a look at it here in a static viewpoint. And if we're happy with it, we can go ahead and right click and choose Done. And the surface is deformed. The patch doesn't have to be rectangular. You can right click and edit the patch. Grab one of these control points. Move it and then right click and choose Done. So the patch is pretty flexible, but it's limited in comparison with 3ds Max, because we don't have the ability to subdivide the patch any further, nor can we add an additional patch along an edge in an elegant way. Of course you can create another patch object next to it if you want, but there's no real connection between the objects. If you want to hide the triangulation within the patch, double click to open the group, and then triple click to select All Connected. Open the Soften Edges window and check Soften Coplanar. That's all there is to it. So lots of different professions can use this type of geometry. For example, naval architects might use it to create a boat hull. Industrial designers might use patches to create injection molded parts. And landscape designers might use these to create landforms. Use the Bezier patch as an alternative to the sandbox tools.